Okay, so I'm here with our club captain, Liam Pestel. Liam, Happy New Year to you, first of all. A uh, little message, Happy New Year message for the fans. Um, yeah, Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you, had all, you all had a good Christmas. Um, but let's face it, we're, we're all glad to be back, aren't we? Glad to be back at football, so yeah. But no, it's lovely to see everyone out today. Um, fantastic crowd again today. And um, yeah, wishing all the best for the new year. Superb. So, on to the game today, Liam. And... Um... 5-2 win against Sandhurst. Thoughts on the game? How are the boys feeling? Um, yeah, mood's good. The mood in the camp is good. Um, you know, we're coming off the back of a, a very good result uh, against Tadley, uh, which was fantastic. That set us up for the Christmas break. Um, and then, obviously, we had a game uh, cancelled on us, which a bit iffy, to be honest with you. Um, but the boys have trained twice this week, and we've trained really hard, really hard. We blew the cobwebs out on the Tuesday. Uh, which was great. A uh, lot of good, good morale in the um, in the camp at the moment. And um, trained on Thursday, worked on a few things, um, and it's just the build up of that process, you know, that the manager and the coaching staff are drumming into us, and you're starting to see it more and more each week on the um, on the pitch, especially today as well. I mean, today, funny, funny game today. To be honest with you, from the start, uh, I think everyone would agree we probably weren't at the races for the first 20 minutes. Yeah, um, yeah. And then uh, Boney out of nowhere, as you know, does what Boney does. Um, he got the ball out onto his right foot on the left hand side, whipped it, meant every, you know, meant it, whipped it straight into the top corner from about 40 yards out, I think it was. Maybe I'm being a little bit generous there, it could be 35 yards out, but. Um, I'm sure he'd take it, Liam. Exactly, take exactly. But that settled us down. Um, it settled us down, and we went, right, everybody just took a deep breath, go, no, right, we've got one mil up. And then, but the good thing is we didn't rest on our laurels. We went out and we looked for that second goal, and we've kept applying pressure. Corner came in, Sammy Marks on the button every time, and again Boney, deadly, literally just straight in on that keeper, bang, centre the goal, um, nearly took the net out with it with it's great header. Um, and then that was two nil, and then you feel like you've kind of taken the sting out of them a little bit. Um, and then again, the, the the impressive thing at the moment and the positive thing if you're going to take anything from where the team is now, is we're pushing on in games. Yeah. We're not we're not sitting back. We're not thinking, right, we've got a goal and then allowing them to come on to us. Um, and then the same happened. You know, we had some great, great passages of play, which started in the midfield. Uh, tempo was good. Got the ball out to the right. Mahill got in, little jink, got onto his favoured left foot and then zit a strike. Admittedly, it's taken a little bit of a deflection, but it's gone in the back of the net. Yeah. And these are the sort of things that was happening to us, um, you know, maybe at the start of the season before I was here, but certainly when I first came in, um, the first two, three, four weeks, the same sort of thing was happening to us. You know, we'd do well, we'd nick a goal, but then we'd allow them onto us a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I think the additional players that we've got in, Matty Sermon, etc., have certainly helped to settle that down. I feel like we've got a little bit more um, discipline within the team and we've got an identity now. Everybody knows their jobs a little bit more, um, which again is, yeah. is credit to to the to the coaching staff and to the manager, but also to the players because they're taking on the message. Um, so today, first twenty minutes not great, got our goals. The most impressive thing though was half time. We came in, we had a chat, we spoke to each other. The manager told us what he thought, which is basically what we're saying here now. Yeah. But again, we didn't rest on our laurels. We went out there and we pressed and we pressed and we pressed, and we got our rewards. Um, disappointing to let two goals in. Um, yeah, I know so we've it. already spoken about that. And uh, yeah. as a defender and the and the skipper, yeah. you're not happy about two goals going in the back of the net. No, no, no. I love my my boys to death that play in front of me, but um, you know I am a little bit bit angry at the moment. I'm hiding it quite well at the moment, but um, you know I don't want it to overshadow what we've achieved here today. You know we've done very very well. The boys have all done well. Everybody that came in and did their job, even the boys that come on, you know, um, it's not difficult coming into a game because even though uh, we were 5 0 up, the game was still a high tempo game. They made some changes which actually gave them 10, 15% spark um, and it was difficult. But we let our standards drop. We just let them drop and it only takes that little 5, 10% that you allow it to drop and uh, you get punished. Yeah. And so that's exactly what happened. You know, we gave a. Uh, a sloppy penalty away. Um, whether it was a pen or not, I don't know. But you know, yeah. the referee actually had not a bad game, to be honest with you. And he's seen us, 
he's seen our player behind the player and the player's gone down. Yeah. So we'll, 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 we'll forgive him that. that OK, way. so, you know, it's a good way to kick off the new year, like you say, after the game last week, cancelling. Um, expectations for you as a skipper, for the gaffer, for the boys, for the rest of the season? Um, I mean, we want to push on. There's, I think the abilities in the team and in the squad, you know, there's, there's no doubt that we can cause an upset against any team in this league. You know, I really, really believe that. We're capable of beating anybody on a day. Um, and the belief is there, not just from management and myself, it's there amongst every single player. Everybody believes that we can go and beat teams. We can cause an upset. Uh, we're not frightened of who we're up against. Um, yeah. You know, you've got to have the right mindset leading into every game. And I do feel that the boys have kind of taken that on and it's starting to settle in. Yeah. It comes from experience. You know, a few of these boys are new to it still. They've got some real youngsters in the team. Um, you know, I have... I'm a lot older, but I, I still have routines that I go through throughout the morning to get myself up for a game of football. Um, and I think the boys are starting to buy into things like that and doing their own little thing as well. So, yeah, yeah our expectations are we want to push on. Yeah. Um, and I don't see why we can't we can't push on for playoffs. I yeah. think that has to be a goal um, that we're more than capable of, of achieving. Sounds good. And then just to fight, finish off, really, on a personal note, what did it mean to you? being made the skipper of the football team, of the football club, how does that make you, you know, you're an experienced guy, how's that made you feel of, of being part of Fleet Town and, and, and being that skipper? Yeah, I mean, fantastic, it's a huge honour. Um, it doesn't matter what club you're at. Um, you know, when you're, you're given the armband, that's a, uh, it's a responsibility that is entrusted into you. So it means that they believe in you, which is great, you know, for me. Um, I am a senior player um, and I've been captain at a few clubs to be fair, um, but you know when you come, you're new into a team. The armband's already with somebody, and you, uh, you understand that's not going to stop me doing my job. But uh, the vacancy came up, and it was nice that it was awarded to me. Um, uh, you know, a difficult one for the manager, really, to yeah. be honest with you, because we've got a few, few. You've you got know, a good bunch of leaders in that. Exactly, room. exactly. You know, everybody's got. Um, you know, the youngsters. You know, they they listen, which is fantastic. Um, but everyone's got something to say. You know, everybody's got something to say, and it's useful information. You know, it's not just talking for the sake of talking, which, which can happen. Um, but no, I, it's a huge honour for me, especially at a, a, a team like Fleet. You know, I've said it. Um, people are probably bored of uh, hearing me say it, but it is a proper football club. You know, and the club around us is getting bigger and bigger. You know, just from a town point of view, you know, um, people talk to you. We had our little night out um, over Christmas, and people were coming up to us in the bars talking about us. You know, uh, which is fantastic. So it's it, it's spreading. Uh, things are getting done at the club. When you come and visit the club, it's a great place to come. Um, crowds, you know, it's a cold day today, but we still got a big crowd. You yeah, know, which, over almost 300 plus Well, today. there you go, there you go, you know, so it's a place that people actually want to come because we're playing good football. And yeah, I'm very, very proud to um, to be wearing the armband and um, it's a huge honour for me and, and I really appreciate it. And we're pleased to have you, mate. So Thank good you. luck for the rest of the season.